bought a little bit of ice cream. Oh my goodness, you guys are gonna love this. Okay, now I like to consider myself a bit of an ice cream expert, okay? But our next guest has us all beat because she's actually an ice cream scientist. I mean, you heard me correctly. She's here today to show us how to make amazing ice cream without a machine. Please welcome to our home, Dr. Maya Warren. Welcome, Dr. Maya. Cameron, thank you so much for being here. And you are an ice cream expert. All, <laughs> so many of us are because we, we eat, we eat ice cream. Yes. We love ice cream. It's such a pleasure to be here. I love sharing my enthusiasm, my passion for all things ice cream. And you have all of that. Now you gotta tell me quickly, please, how does one become an ice cream scientist? So I actually have a bachelor's in chemistry from Carleton College, but I went to University of Wisconsin-Madison to get my PhD in food science. I studied the microstructure, sensorial, and behavioral properties of frozen aerated desserts. So basically that just means I know a crazy amount about ice cream and all of its close cousins. Okay, listen, we're gonna sit down <laughs> a little bit later, you and me, and we're gonna talk into some of that science. I, I'm, I'm into all of that. Okay, but right now, no churn ice cream, What's the base? What do we start with as the base for this? Yes, for Chernobyl and ice cream, it's so easy. You don't have to have a machine. You need some sweetened condensed milk, which we okay. have in our bowl right here. We're gonna take a quarter of a cup of evaporated milk. So you have one and one fourth cup sweetened condensed milk, quarter of a cup evaporated milk. Gotcha. And then you're just gonna add a little bit of vanilla, so about two teaspoons of vanilla. And you're basically just going to mix that all together. And this brings in our sugar source and yep. our flavoring that we need to be able to make sure that the ice cream is really nice, sweet and you know a little scoopable. So you don't need to add any extra sugar or anything to that because the the uh, condensed milk actually takes care of that for us. Yes, the sweetened condensed milk Great. actually does that for us and now. then you're going to take whipped cream, so you're gonna have heavy whipping cream. Now this is key, everybody. So you, you, you know, if you've tried to make ice cream at home like I have, it doesn't really have the texture or the feel like real ice cream that we're used to. But what you're doing now really, in a sense, takes place of the ice cream machine, doesn't it? Yeah, so what we're doing with the whipped cream, it's actually critical because you wanna make sure that you have enough kind of air in there and the whipped cream also brings in our fat source. Ice cream by legal definition, I don't know if you know this or not, it has to have 10% or more milk fat. That is a must when it comes to the ice cream world. So, and, and that's for the US of course. So you have to make sure that you have all that milk fat in there and the heavy whipping cream, once you whip that up into beautiful, nice, stiff peaks, you do not want to over, over whip it. If you over whip it, what do we get? Butter. butter. Yes, okay, good, right. job. Not, good not, job, good job. You, sure you do not want to get butter. Dr. Maya, <laughs> this is the best ice cream I've had in a long time. You would never know this was made at home. Never know, and believe it or not, it's not even made on an actual ice cream machine. That's the beauty, it's so incredibly easy, and you can do all kind of flavors. Ice cream itself is a blank canvas. Oh my goodness. So you can pretty much make anything and everything that you want. And today we're making beautiful no-churn unicorn ice cream, mm -hmm. such a fun flavor. So we've combined <laughs> we've combined all of the ingredients, so that sweetened condensed milk, that evaporated milk, that vanilla extract, and we've combined that with our whipped cream. Beautiful, so and, you folded it all in there, yep. and now you're going to, in a sense, accomplish the unicorn aspect. Right? Yes. How do we do that? So now we're com we've combined. So now we're going to take some parts of it, and then we're going to start coloring it and flavoring it with some flavored uh, beverage mix. So super easy, some powdered beverage mix. So we're going to take that, and then I'm going to take a little bit of like my lemonade flavor here. Oh, and I then get I'm that in there. Yeah. Mix that in. Mm. I'm going to mix that in, and I'm going to actually color it as well, so we can get those nice bright unicorn colors that we all love. So I'm going to put in a little bit of food coloring. Here we go, whoop, there we go. Some of that gel food coloring, and it's so beautiful. Look at that, you see that beautiful unicorn pink? Yes. That's what we wanna see. So you do three separate of those, right? Yes. You do the different colors, and then you just somehow swirl them back together. I'm not trying to rush you through that, because I know it takes a minute. You're doing a great job, my gosh. How, how often, do you think that you have you know, made ice cream at home? How many times have you done this? I make a ton of ice cream at home. So since we've been in quarantine, of course, mm -hmm. um, I'm not you know, going all about and traveling all the time. So I started something called Ice Cream Sundays with Dr. Maya as a way to be able to, you know, Touch people and you know inspire people to you know make use ice make ice cream at home. Ice cream is a blank canvas. You can make it into anything and everything. And I make ice cream every single week since May. Literally every single week. I can't believe it, Cameron. I can't believe it. That's um, that's pretty amazing. And I don't think a lot of people out there can say the same thing. So good. <laughs> All right. So you've got your pink. You got your purple. Yes. And, and now we're gonna do one more with blue. Mm -hmm. 
And this is going to become, again, our, we're gonna combine it all together and this is going to be our beautiful unicorn uh, base that but just like what you're eating right now. And you can have any kind of flavor, any kind of beverage of uh, powdered mix that you want. And it's absolutely delicious. I cannot wait to make this at home. My kids are gonna freak out. They are gonna <laughs> absolutely be beside themselves. This is incredible. So easy, so delicious, and there's so many recipes that you can make. So if, you, if you're a chocolate lover, you can make like a s'mores, and let me tell you, Cameron, that is absolutely delicious. The s'mores is knock your socks off. And then there's a strawberry cheesecake. Oh, Cameron. I love that you're still so <laughs> excited about this. So essentially, the base for all of these flavors is the same, the condensed milk, the evaporated milk, and a little bit of vanilla in there, and then you can kind of put, mix the flavors up from there, right? Yep, you can just sort of mix the flavors up from there, but it all, it all depends. If you want, for instance, a caramel base, you actually don't need the sweetened condensed milk because the caramel base actually uses caramel. So the sugar comes in from the sweetened condensed milk. You don't need that. You don't need that when you um, put in the caramel because the caramel has so much sugar. So, so what are we doing here now? Now we're gonna start making the actual unicorn. Yes, yeah, so okay. now we're going to actually start combining all of our beautiful colors just like yeah. you have. So I'm putting the blue, I'm putting in the pink, and it has all the delicious flavors. So we have sort of vanilla base, and now we're going to add all of our beautiful colors to it. And you're just gonna keep combining this until you end up with your top layer being that beautiful beautiful unicorn. Um, and then we're gonna also add some sprinkles. And so when you scoop it, just like yours is, you get absolutely beautiful colors. So now we have some unicorn sprinkles that we can You're just You're amazing. Put I mean, this is over the top amazing. Yeah. And it's so easy. Once you once you add once you combine everything, you stick it in your freezer for oh, gotcha. about for about five hours. Okay. Let so you it, just do layers like that. Yep. You do layers like that. And why don't we jump ahead and grab the one? I know there's one in the freezer. Yes. Because uh, that one's waiting to be dug into. Yes, I will <laughs> get the one from the freezer. Show me. Mmm. So we made one earlier. And this is what you end up with, everybody. I mean, beautiful. absolutely incredible. I am blown away by this. You gotta tell me as a scientist, what makes ice cream so delicious? It is that sugar and that milk fat. I'm telling you, like we, we as people, we yep. crave it. But it's also the fact for no turn ice cream that you can make it yourself. It's so incredibly easy to make it yourself, but it also is very nostalgic. We love ice cream. We grew up on ice cream. We grew up eating it. And it just is such a pleasurable experience because I mean, who doesn't love a, just a good dish of ice cream just Dr. like Lauren, this? You are amazing. Ice cream and science mixed together right here in our kitchen, everybody. Thank you so much for this. I can't wait to try it myself. You guys should too. Make sure to check out Maya's Ice Cream Sundays on her Instagram. It's at maya.warren. And as always, you can grab the recipe you know where, hallmarkchannel.com. Thanks again, Maya.